नमस्कार श्री श्री रामकृष्ण कथामृत तव कथामृत तप्त जीवन कविभीत कलमशापहम श्रवण मंगल श्रीमदादत भुवि गृणंती भूरीदा जना श्री श्री रामकृष्ण कथामृत प्रथम भाग द्वितीय खंडो षष्ठ परिच्छेद एंड द षठ परिच्छेद सिक्स्थ चैप्टर Uh, in fact, starting uh, towards the end of the fifth chapter and the start of sixth, sixth chapter, uh, Sri Ramakrishna has been emphasizing on the uh, power of mind. That our bondage and liberation is all within the mind. Hmm. Like Sri Ramakrishna has says, has said, "Moniti buddho, moniti mukto." Our bondage, our freedom is all within our mind. If we think we are bound, 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 we will be. If we think we are free, nothing can stop us from being free. Then we cannot. There is no chance of us getting trapped in that fisherman's net, like the fish. Hmm? And with saying, saying firmly with faith in the Lord that I am free. I am free. I am free. Free. I will be. So Sri Ramakrishna says, "Temni, ami buddhu noi, ami muktu. Ei kotha ti rok kore bolte bolte tai hoy jai, mukto hoy jai." Continuously you think you are child of mother. Why you should say I am bound? No, ami buddhu noi. I am not bound. I am free. Ami mukto. Keep on repeating, ami mukto. Keep on repeating, I am free, and you will be free. You will remain liberated, not trapped in the net. And then Sri Ramakrishna also started uh, telling these uh, Brahmos about uh, how this mind can be can influence our freedom or our bondage. And then Sri Ramakrishna uh, uh, told them we read about it uh, in our previous reading that. He once asked somebody to read out from a book of uh, book on Christianity, and then Thakur was very unhappy. Why? He says in that book there was nothing but sin and sin. Tate ke bol paap ar paap, and this is the attitude Sri Ram Krishna hated most. Being child of the mother, why we sh you should keep on calling yourself sinner, sinner, sinner? And he didn't even uh, leave uh, Keshav Chandra Sen for that matter. Keshav Chandra Sen, such a learned person, such a great leader of Brahmo Samaj, and Thakur tells him directly, Keshav Bir Prati. Hmm? He tells him directly, "Tumadir Brahmo Samajeyo kebul papi." You in your Brahmo Samaj also, in your Brahmo teachings also, you only talk of. Being sinner, sinner, sinner. No. And then Sri Ram Krishna had said, "J bhakti, ami buddho, ami buddho, bar bar bolle, she shala buddhu hi hoy jai." A person who keeps on repeating, "I am bound, I am bound," that useless fellow, that good for nothing fellow, will always remain bound. जे रातो दिन आमी पापी आमी पापी ऐ कोरे शे ताई होए जाए and the one who day and night keeps on saying I am sinner I am sinner oh Lord I am sinner what will happen to him he will only be that only the sinner nothing else and then Sri Ram Krishna has said इश्वरे नामे एमोन विश्वास होवा चाहे कि आमित तार नाम करें ची अमार एकोन ओ पाप थक बे I have taken his name that should be your faith that should be your level of faith and devotion you should have that strong faith that I have taken the name of Lord I have chanted the name of Lord how can sin ever touch me no which sin can touch me Say that boldly. Have that confidence. Be that confident child of the mother. I have taken your name, and then Sri Ram Krishna 
sang that song ami durga 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 bole ma jodi mori oh mother if i happen to die with the name of ma durga on my lips hmm akhere e dine natarokke mone jana jabe go shankari oh great goddess shankari on that last day how is it possible that i will not know you hmm i have taken the name of ma durga at my last moment that was the ram prasad song and further in that song then thakur sang that even if i have committed heinest of the heinest crimes hmm i might have killed cow i might have killed a brahmin i might have killed an unborn fetus or under the influence of wine i might have slain a woman so what nobody can stop me from attaining the ultimate knowledge brahmagan hmm nobody can stop me from reaching the brahmapad realizing the brahman the ultimate truth nobody can stop me because i have uttered the name of my mother durga at my last moment that that is faith and then Uh, Shri Ram Krishna continues his talk with the Brahmo devotees and tells them a great secret. Hmm. Shri Ram Krishna tells them, "Ami mar kache ke bol bhakti che chila. I prayed only for the love and devotion to my mother." And Thakur then just just reveals his secret. What was the prayer that he prayed to the Divine Mother? and he actually puts uh, he has put that prayer down in words in his uh, teachings to the brahmo devotees that prayer was hmm, now shri thakur is telling how he had prayed to the divine mother phool hate kore mar pad padme diyechilam bolchilam ma ei nao tomar pap ei nao tomar punno amake shuddha bhakti dao and taking a flower offering it to the holy feet of my mother hmm i told mother i bol chila my aster i prayed to her oh ma ei now oh mother take this take this what tomar pap hmm take this your sin ei now tomar punno take this your merit i don't want these amai shuddha bhakti dao ma thakur tells just give me pure love pure devotion pure faith hmm e now tomar gaan e now tomar ogan amai shuddha bhakti dao mother take back your knowledge take back your ignorance i am offering everything to you give me only pure love ei now tumar suchi ei now tumar osuchi amae shuddha bhakti dao here take your purity take your impurity the defilement and give me only pure love then ei nao tomar dharma ei nao tomar odharma amai shuddha bhakti dao ma hmm this is the prayer take this righteousness take this unrighteousness and oh mother give me pure devotion that's it pure love that's what shri ram krishna had prayed to the mother by offering all the opposite dualities of life the purity impurity knowledge ignorance and sin merits righteousness unrighteousness they are of no use so thakur offered everything at the feet of mother and prayed only for the pure love pure devotion pure faith 
and that's what his mother gave him. And then Sri Ramakrishna, having told this great secret of his uh, prayer to Ma, what he had asked from Ma, he says, now, Yekti Ram Prashadir Now listen to this song of Ram Prashad. Now this song of Ram Prashad, uh, uh, Sri Ram Krishna is singing before the Brahmo devotees. They are all enjoying his beautiful singing. And Sri Ram Krishna sings, I mono beda teja bi. Come, oh my mind. I mon beda teja bi. Come, my mind. Let us go for a walk. Kali kalpataru mule remon chari phol kudai pabi. Hmm. Come, oh mind. Let us go for a walk. Where? Kali kalpataru mule. Under that wish fulfilling tree of Kali. And what we do there? We will go and gather the four fruits of life. Dharma, Artho, Kamo, Moksha. Hmm. Let us gather these fruits. The duties, righteousness, Artho, prosperity, Kamo, fulfillment of desires. And finally, Moksha, liberation. Mother gives these all. Mother gives dharma, artho, kama, moksha. Let us go and gather these fruits from under the kalpataru, the wishful filling tree of Makali. And Ram Prasad further tells its mind, Oh my mind, hmm, while going, Nipravrutti nibrutti jaya, Tor nibrutti rel shonge lobi. Ore bibek name tar beta totto kotha tai shudhabi. You have got two wives of my mind. You have got two wives. One is pravritti, the desire to enjoy worldly things, and nivritti, the dispassion. From among these two wives, you take dispassion with you. Mm. And from your son, your son discrimination. You learn the truth of reality. You get to know what is the real thing. Now, these are the two wives. One is Prafutti, the in desire to enjoy worldly lives that you don't take. No, you only take the second wife, the dispassion. And the child born from this wife, discrimination from that child, you get to know the truth of reality. O Shuchi O Shuchire Liye Dibyukhre Kobe Shubi Jokhon Dui Shotine Pirit Hobe Tokhon Shama Maake Pabi And then again, you lie between these two wives of Shuchi is purity, Oshuchi is defilement, impurity. Between these two wives you lie down and when you reach a condition that you don't feel any difference between purity and impurity, that is the time that Tokon Shama Maake Pabi. Then is the time you will know, you will realize Mother Shama, the Kali in that dark blue complexion aspect. So, you have to get over the purity and impurity. See, this is what Sri Ramakrishna had prayed to the mother. Take all these dualities. So now, here Ramprasad is telling its mind, telling his mind that between these two, you lie, sleep between these two wives, but when you reach a condition of not knowing any difference between these two, then the time will come that you will realize, you will know your mother Shama. Further, the song goes, Ohamkar obidya tor mata pitae tadiye dibi jodi moho gorte tene loe Dhoiryo khata dhore rubi. Your parents. Now, uh, Ram Prasad has spoken about the two wives and one son discrimination. Now he talks about 
the parents of this mind. Who are the parents of this mind? Ohankar, ego and vidya, ignorance. Hmm. Now what is to be done with these parents? Ram Prasad says, tells its mind, you just drive them away. Hmm. Throw them out. You don't need them. So, throw away the ego and ignorance. And if Jodi Moha Gorte Tene, if the delusion tries to pull you down in this pit, in this charnel pit, hmm, then what is to be done? Dhairyo Khata Dhore Rubi. Hmm, you firmly hold on to the pole of patience. Holdly pull on. Firmly uh, hold on to that. Strongly hold on to that pole of patience so that you will not fall down in that pit which delusion is trying to drag you into. Then further the song goes Dharma o dharma duto oja tucho khatae bende thubi jodi na mane nishe to be gyan khodge boli dibi. Now you are a prosperous man oh mind you have some goats with you. Now which are these goats? Dharma or dharma? You have these two goats of righteousness and unrighteousness with you. What is to be done with them? Hmm. You just tie them to the post of least importance. Hmm. Tucha khatai bandeja bande thubi. You just tie these two goats of righteousness and unrighteousness. The dharma, adharma, virtue and vice. Tie them to this post of no importance, no significance, a lowly place. And if still they keep on doing like these goats they do, what then? You just just kill them, sacrifice them with the sword of knowledge. That is the teaching to the mind Ram Prasad is giving. Now another teaching. The song continues. Pratham bhariyar shanta nere dur hote bujhai bhi jodi na mane prabod kyanu shindu maje dubai bhi now your children from the first wife, the desire for enjoying worldliness, what is to be done with them? Hmm? You just tell them, Dur hote you tell them, you be away, don't come near me. Those children are not required to be around you. The children of desire for worldly enjoyment. No. But what to do if they don't listen? If they keep on running to you, then Ram Prasad says, you be stern and Gaan Shindhu Maji Dubai be. Just drown them in the ocean of knowledge. You don't need them. That is the stern teaching that Ram Prasad is giving to his mind. Prashad Bole, Emon Hole, Kaler kache jabab dibi. Now Ram Prashad says, If you can submit your account of your life to the Lord of Death at the end, then what happens? Tobe bapu bacha baper thakur moner moton mon hobi. Then I shall be pleased to call you my own, my darling, if you can give this account to the Lord of Death at the time of, uh, at the last moment, then, oh dear, then I shall be very pleased to call you my dear one, my darling, then you will be entitled to receive that love from me. Hmm. So this is how the song of uh, Ram Prasad, uh, Sri Ram Krishna has sung. And then Sri Ram Krishna further says, Shongshare 
ঈশ্বর লাভ হবে না কেন জনকের হয়েছিল সংসার ধোকার টাটি প্রসাদ বলেছিল তার পাদ পদ্মে ভক্তি লাভ করলে না শ্রী রামকৃষ্ণ আগেন হি ইজ স্পেসিফাইং দ্যাট ব্রাহ্ম ডিভোটি দ্যাট ইউ ক্যান রিয়েলাইজ গড হি হু হ্যাড আস্ট শুড বি রিনাউন্স এভরিথিং Hmm. Without renunciation, is God realization not possible? And Thakur that time also had said, why? Why should it not be possible? Now Thakur is re-emphasizing that point. Shamsare Ishwar lab hobe na keno. Why should God realization be not possible while living in this world as a householder? It is very much Janakar hoi chilo. King Janakar had that God realization being in the world. So that is a beautiful example that Sri Ramakrishna is giving to these Brahmos. When King Janaka could get it, why not you? Shongshar Dhokar Tati Prashad Boli Chilo. Ram Prasad in one of his songs has said, that this world, what is it after all? This world is a framework of Illusion, dhokar hmm. tati, the framework of construction of illusion, construction of dreams, it is not real. Don't get worried, don't get frightened of this samsara, of this world. Tar padpudme bhaktilab kurle, after attaining the love and devotion, for his lotus feet, for her lotus feet, for the lotus feet of the Lord, devotion and faith for the lotus feet of the mother. What happens? If one has devotion and faith for the lotus feet of the mother, then Thakur again sings a few lines. Ei shongshar mojar kuti, ami khai dai ar moja luti. জনক রাজা মহাতেজা তার বাকি সে ছিল ত্রুটি সে যে এদিক ওদিক দুদিক রেখে সে যে এদিক ওদিক দুদিক রেখে খেয়ে ছিল দুধের বাটি সকলের হাস্য নাও শ্রী রামকৃষ্ণ সিং এ ফিউ লাইন্স ফ্রম ওয়ান সং for King Janaka because he has told Brahmas Janaka realized God while being in this world provided if you have complete faith complete devotion to the lotus feet of the Divine Lord or the Divine Mother then what happens? He Shangshari Mojar Kuti then this world is a mart of joy hmm. then this world is a mansion of mirth it is a place where there is nothing but joy and gaiety ami khai dai ar moja luti hmm here i can eat here i can drink here i can enjoy hmm that is how shri ram krishna is telling to look upon the world jonak raja mahateja now janak king janak hmm his might his was unsurpassed unparalleled hmm janak raja mahateja tarva kishe chilo truti now did he lack of anything in the world king janak hmm he was unparalleled he was unsurpassed his might his brilliance, his devotion, his faith. Hmm. What did he lack of the world? Or did he even lack anything of the spirit? No. He had everything. He enjoyed everything. He enjoyed both. She je ediko odiko dudiko reke. He is holding on to one as well as the other. Ediko Udiko, he held on to both. 
খেয়ে ছিল দুধের বাটি হি এনজয়েড ড্রিঙ্কিং দ্য মিল্ক ফ্রম দ্যাট ব্রিমিং কাপ অফ জয় so that is what lord janak did did not sri ramkrishna tell us the other day that hold on to do your duties with one hand and hold on to the lord with the other like this that is what king janak did he was in the world but he had also held on to the lotus feet of the lord with firm devotion and firm faith so that is what sri ramkrishna has taught the brahmos in this particular reading and uh, it's a great lesson for all of us first of all don't get uh, frightened by the dualities of the world they will be there but then like ram prasad sang in that song don't take the wife of desires for worldly enjoyment with you when you are going to be under that kalpataru the the wish fulfilling tree of ma kali when you are gathering those four fruits don't carry don't take that wife with you rather take the wife of dispassion then you drive away your parents of ignorance and ego and if the delusion is again trying to pull you down in that pit hold on firmly to the post of uh, patience let them try their best you don't lose your patience be calm have firm faith don't take the children of your first wife with you you ask them to stay away from you and if they don't obey if they still try to pester you drown them in the ocean of knowledge the righteousness and unrighteousness these two goats tie them to the pole of none no no importance tie them to the place which is not at all important for you and even then if they are trying to disturb you sacrifice them with the sword of knowledge that is that is the key that is the way that ram prasad has told us which Sri Ramakrishna has sung for us and for the Brahmo devotees in giving this message. Get rid of the dualities, and that is what Sri Ramakrishna also told them. This this was his prayer to the mother after offering the flower at her lotus feet. What he had prayed to the mother. Here he had offered all the extremely opposite dualities. the good the bad the uh, virtue the vice hmm the merit the demerit the purity the impurity everything he had asked mother to take it back from me just give me pure devotion and towards the end of our today's reading shri ram krishna says with that pure devotion with that faith like king janaka hold on to god and do your duties then you will have the god realization nobody can stop you and get away of this duty of of this habit of saying i am sinner i am sinner no get away from this habit of saying i am bound i am bound i am not bound i am the son of the king of kings have that faith and tread your path do your duties finally when all the duties get over then hold on to the lord with both the hands remember that teaching that is the key for god realization so here we will stop our today's reading from the 6th chapter then tomorrow we will take up again this same chapter and what uh, shri ram krishna has further elaborated on the regarding janakaraja he is comparing brahma samaj and king janak in tomorrow's reading brahma samaj or janakaraja gruhoshter upaye so om namah shri bhagavate ram krishnaya shri ram krishnar panamastu jai thakur jai ba
जय स्वामी जी